Welcome to Driven Daily is your ultimate destination for deep dives into the latest machines that redefine the future of transportation and technology. Today we take you into the skies with a comprehensive look at the much-anticipated Russian 6th generation stealth interceptor, the MIG-41. A symbol of cutting-edge aerospace innovation and a spiritual successor to the legendary MIG-31, the MiG-41 promises capabilities that blur the line between science fiction and modern defense engineering. Though shrouded in secrecy, enough details have surfaced to give aviation fans and defense enthusiasts a lot to talk about. The MIG-41 is reportedly designed as a long-range interceptor capable of engaging hypersonic threats and operating at altitudes and speeds unreachable by current-generation aircraft. Built by the McCoyan Division of the United Aircraft Corporation, it is envisioned as a counter to future aerial threats, including high-speed stealth bombers, hypersonic missiles, and low-orbit reconnaissance systems. Unlike its predecessors, this aircraft is expected to break into the Mach 4 to Mach 5 range, a performance leap that makes it the fastest jet in active service if achieved. At such speeds, the aircraft can outpace even the most advanced threats, reducing interception times dramatically. The jet is also expected to feature stealth technology far superior to the MIG-31. While the MIG-31 relied heavily on brute force speed and radar power, the MiG-41 adopts a stealth-first philosophy with radar-absorbing materials, edge-aligned surfaces, and an overall airframe designed for low observability. Analysts believe this will allow it to remain undetected while flying at the edge of space, well beyond the reach of most radar systems and anti-air systems. Powering this monster of the skies could be advanced turbo ramjet or combined cycle engines, which would allow for both high-speed and high-altitude performance. There are rumors that the MIG-41 might be the first Russian jet equipped for optional unmanned operation, making it a potentially versatile platform for high-risk reconnaissance or strike missions in contested environments. It is also reportedly designed with space operations in mind, perhaps capable of intercepting low-orbit targets like small satellites or spaceplanes. In terms of avionics, the MIG-41 is expected to feature state-of-the-art sensor fusion, AI-assisted targeting systems, and hypersonic missile compatibility. Some reports even suggest that it will be equipped with laser-based weapons or electromagnetic railguns in the far future, although these are likely still in conceptual phases. It will also have the ability to carry long-range air-to-air missiles and could deploy anti-satellite weapons. A possible innovation is the internal weapons bay, keeping all arms hidden to reduce radar cross-section until needed. One standout feature of the MiG-41 program is its reported capability to operate in the Arctic region. Its systems are said to be optimized for the extreme cold and magnetic conditions of the north, which plays into Russia's growing focus on asserting dominance in the polar regions. The aircraft's design seems to reflect strategic thought not only about traditional air combat, but about the geopolitical future of airspace dominance. While prototypes and scale models have been teased by Russian media, the exact timeline for operational deployment remains unclear. Some analysts predict that initial flight testing may happen within the next few years, while others speculate it could take until the 2030s before full-scale production begins. This delay may be due to the complexity of integrating so many advanced technologies into a single platform or due to geopolitical and budgetary constraints. It's important to note that a project like the MIG-41 is not just about having the fastest or most advanced jet. It represents a strategic shift in air power philosophy. With the increasing importance of speed, stealth, and electronic warfare, interceptors like the MIG-41 are being developed not just to shoot down aircraft, but to create an aerial dominance bubble where few can challenge their presence. This aligns with Russia's defense doctrine, which places a strong emphasis on area denial and strategic deterrence through high-speed precision tools. Moreover, the MiG-41 may serve as a testbed for several future technologies. High-speed data links, drone coordination systems, anti-stealth sensors, and advanced cockpit interfaces may all debut here before trickling down into other platforms. This also ensures the MIG-41 isn't just a standalone tool, but a part of a larger integrated warfare ecosystem that includes drones, satellites, and ground-based radars. Driven Daily is excited to bring you updates as more concrete details about the MIG-41 come to light. Whether it lives up to the bold expectations or becomes another overhyped prototype remains to be seen. 
However, the ambition alone places it among the most interesting aerospace projects of our time. This is a machine not built for today's wars, but for the conflicts of tomorrow, where speed, intelligence, and adaptability will win the skies. If you're fascinated by defense tech, futuristic vehicles, and next-gen machines, this channel is made for you. Stay tuned to Driven Daily for more videos that take you beyond the headlines and into the engineering marvels shaping our world. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update.